The Toronto International Film Festival is officially underway. The festival will open with the international premiere of legendary studio Ghibli director Hayao Miyazaki's newest film, The Boy and the Heron. But TIFF also opens under the shadow of a dual strike by Hollywood actors and writers, meaning expectations of star-filled premieres and parties remain low. Emily Taylor joins us live now with more of what we can expect over the next 10 days. Thanks, Louis. We're here on King Street in Toronto, which has been completely closed down for the festival. Now, the first big premiere of the Toronto International Film Festival happening tonight. It's going to be The Boy and the Heron. It's happening in less than an hour. Now, the cast and the legendary director aren't expected to walk the carpet or greet fans. It still remains to be seen which celebrities will be here at the festival this year as the strikes are ongoing. Now, Canadian and independent films are free to promote their movies, so we're expecting lots of local talent, maybe even a famous rock star or two. Nickelback is expected to show for their world premiere tomorrow of the documentary Hate to Love Nickelback. Some Hollywood productions have been granted permission slips as well from their unions to still attend and promote films. Now one of those also includes another premiere coming up tonight. Some celebrities out on the red carpet. Patricia Arquette and Willem Dafoe are going to be on the red carpet just behind me here at the Royal Alexandra Theatre promoting Arquette's directorial debut Gonzo Girl.